I want you to think about yourself. Let's say you lived in a third world country, let's say Jamaica or something like this, and uh, you saw someone walking through your neighborhood. And I will always say poverty is very complicated because if you have children that are starving and this person walks through your neighborhood showing off wealth, it's not necessarily that they're a bad person. It's that rules of desperation are very different around the world. And so it's like, what would you do if your children are starving and they have no food and no money? You might, you might, I'm not saying you would ever hurt that person, but you might take their watch or take their phone or something like that. And so it's important to remember these important details with the world. Um, so if you're walking through and you look terrified and your head's down and you won't look anyone in the eyes and your body language is all closed and you're rushing through, I mean, you look at these people and you look like you could just tap them and they'll blow over in the wind, you know? They just look very, very weak. And so if there was to be someone that was uh, in a desperate situation and you look at someone like that, you know that you're gonna get whatever you want from that person, untested, no problems at all. They're probably gonna just throw it at you and just like run the other direction, ah! And really, probably all you have to do is say, give, you know, give me this, and they'll say, ah, shit. Whereas the difference on the other side of that is if you're someone that is walking with your shoulders back, your back straight, you're looking people in the eye, you're, you know, you're, uh, you're not just shying away from the, the presence of your reality in that situation, and if you're doing that in a place where you stick out and you're in a third world and let's say you're a minority in that country and like you should be looking afraid, but instead you look confident walking through that situation, that conveys so much strength and it's such a primal, intuitive way that to me, anywhere all over the world in the single most complica complicated place in the world, like I've never been tested. And, I think that you kind of convey yourself in a way that says, kind of like martial artists, that the most dangerous martial artists will never have to, probably never have to use their skills because they have this, this perceived confidence that just emanates from them. And so if you were to walk through a place where you should be scared, but you look calm and confident, it gives off this presence to anyone that's looking at you, like just extreme strength, a lot of strength because they're looking at you like this and you're giving off a, a signal that says, if you were to mess with me, it probably would be a very bad idea. And in my experience all over the world, people don't really test that. It's enough for them to feel that because there's, there's no end to the amount of people that are walking through all. So why would you fuck with the one person that looks like it's gonna be a real bad experience for them? You don't need to. There's plenty of people that are cowering down in fear. And so you just don't even have to test it.